Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about Newton's three laws. Okay, having an understanding of how these three laws and what they mean is really important because these laws can come into things like circular motion, but you can be asked to explain how a situation obeys these three laws. Now the first law is that an object will stay at a constant velocity if there is no resultant force. So to put it bluntly, this one is when no resultant force acts. So when no resultant force acts, an object oops, will move at a constant velocity. And I will tell you now that zero is also constant. So forces that are in equilibrium, it won't move because it, the constant velocity is zero. However, if my forces, like my, if I was bun uh, bungee jumping or I was um, jumping off um, parachuting, when my weight equals the drag, I have terminal velocity, a constant velocity. Now, the second law is probably the most famous. This is if there is a resultant force. So if there's an unbalancing of the forces, if there is a resultant force, an object will accelerate. And this is probably one of the most famous equations, and that is the resultant force is the mass times the acceleration. And you're going to use this one probably one of the most. Now, I want to make you aware that this is the force here. This equation is for linear motion. There is another that we use for circular motion for Newton's second law, and that will be in the circular motion videos. When I talk about linear motion, I mean forces going up, down, left and right. Okay? No, up, down, left and right. Now, the third law is everyone says it's every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and that's not quite enough for the specification. I'll draw a diagram to explain what, what you need. This is object A, and this is object B. Object A will exert a force on B. So A exerts a force on B. B is going to react and exert an equal and opposite force on A. So B will react and exert an equal and opposite force on A. So for example, if I took my lanyard here, so my lanyard, this object here, this string, okay, this is going to put this object here is going to um, put a weight down on the ground here. So this is pulling it down. This is pulling my string down with a weight, which means there is a tension, an equal and opposite force. Okay, so this lanyard, this, this ID card here, exerts weight downwards on this piece of string here. This piece of string here will exert an equal and opposite force on this object. And that is what you see with the tension in the rope. And this is why this string does not fall any further down. Because the tension in the rope, which is a reaction force from this, the weight going down, will act upon it. So if I just draw that as an example, here's my piece of string and here's my ID. My ID puts a weight down on this string. Okay, so this is from the block here, so this is the weight. And the string will exert a tension in the opposite direction. And that there is Newton's three laws.